It's hard to say whether or not you would know Jesus without a given person or a given group, but what I do know is that my story with Jesus started with New Hope as a kid. So my, uh, my dad was locked up, my family was in great need. We didn't always know if we were gonna have even food to eat. And uh, New Hope was the church that secretly brought us food while the family was at school and my mom was at work. They'd leave food on our doorstep. We got acquainted when my mom followed somebody home from uh, dropping off food, or followed them actually back to the, this church when it was just that building. Um, what used to be called the Murbach building, I don't know uh, what it's being addressed as now. But uh, there was 50 congregants, mostly Mennonite at that time, and they decided that we not only needed food to eat, but we needed to know about Jesus, and my dad did too. And as a result of their empathy, their compassion, that's how I got exposed to New Hope. And how long ago was that? I was 10 years old, so that was, you know, at least 15 years ago. <laughs> Good Corey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did Corey say the same thing? <laughs> I think the most profound change for me um, over time was learning what family is supposed to look like. My folks didn't see it from their folks, and I didn't see all of it from mine as a result of that. And each generation tried a little harder, but we needed a way to rapidly advance in learning how healthy family works. And, um, and we did that by observing at New Hope and being a part of something that felt an awful lot like love. People here at this church intentionally found me and intentionally accepted me and intentionally looked past my misgivings and then intentionally adopted me and then believed in me and put me to work and I'm, I'm adopted and grafted into this family. What we can say about ourselves is that we do a pretty good job of not getting in Jesus' way and I think that's um, that's really something to be proud of.